the meantime, Logan Paul is this. So here's the headline. He threatens to sue a chiropractor posing as a doctor on TikTok for spreading misinformation on Prime. This is perhaps another <laughs> plank in the bridge being laid. Mm. Let's see what he has to say, because you guys know I fucking despise chiropractors. I mean, mm -hmm. these people are charlatans. Three times the level. And I'm telling you, just looking at this guy, look at this. <laughs> look at why is your face so orange, man? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, let's get it together. I don't believe anything this dude has to say. This is a really interesting trifecta. Drama alert, posting <laughs> Logan Paul. <laughs> we're all we were all lining up on this one, oh eh? Oh my god! So let's see what this dipshit had to say. Parents, listen. Parents, up. listen. This is scary. Are your kids drinking this? Three times the level of Forever Chemicals PFA. Okay, so this lawsuit. And again, you guys know that I'm not here to defend Logan Paul, but it's total bullshit. Like, again, you can sue anyone for anything. So some random dipshit is just like, I'm suing you because you have forever chemicals in your shit. doesn't matter if it's true. doesn't matter how true it is. It doesn't matter how it compares to other ones. You can sue anyone for anything. And it's, mm -hmm. pretty, it's pretty crazy that you can actually damage uh, the brand for something like that. And I don't even think there's recourse because it's, if it's through a legal... You can't like, sue sure him for I'm defamation. I'm not following what you're saying, though. They were accused of having tons of forever chemicals, plastics and shit in their drink. Mm -hmm. Somebody sued them, and that's how the story broke. Oh, they were sued. For they were it. sued, yeah. Got it. So and you're then, saying you can sue anybody for anything. Yeah. Okay. And I, from what I understand, this is a bunch of bullshit. It's, it's just nonsense. I don't know anything about forever chemicals. What is that? It's just plastics leaking off of uh, liquids, I think, kind okay. of thing. Is found in this. All right, let's talk about it. After I corrected the TikTok lawyer with facts debunking this crap, I never thought I'd have to do the same to a carrot-colored Instagram doctor. You'd think I a what colored carrot. carrot? Okay, all right, you could have done better than that. After this guy already got sentenced to 16 years of carrot. probation. For Ooh, yeah, he's a quack, dude. What? Uh. I knew this motherfucker was a quack at chiropractor. Couple dude. pleads guilty to stealing 1.4 million from orphans trust fund. <laughs> Holy what? shit. <laughs> Logan is not missing on this fucker. Wow. That is so funny. <laughs> See, this is the type of shit I can get behind. <laughs> Destroying your detractors. Wow. Utterly bury them. Well, when you're this much of a dipshit. It's yeah. Crazy. For stealing $1.4 million from his adopted children's trust fund. That's True story. Crazy. He'd stop lying for his financial benefit. And I guess it doesn't surprise me that he calls himself a doctor. He's not a doctor. I'll tell mm -hmm. you right now. He's a chiropractor. You literally just have to do a seance and, and commune with a ghost. You don't even need to go doctor. to medical school. When he's really just a chiropractor. A chiropractor whose license has been suspended and is currently Whoa. considered Ooh. expired and on probation. So they're Whoa. obviously just trying to cease and desist. I got him to like half apologize. But in the same video, he just doubled down on his bullshit. Logan Paul from Prime Hydration and Energy Drinks sent me this cease and desist. He was not happy about this video. However, Logan, I do apologize. He's even getting called out and corrected in his own comment section for spreading misinformation. But now I got to come on here and expose the guy because he can't tell the difference between a can of Prime Energy and a bottle of prime hydration but logan don't shoot the that's certainly mm. not the defamation the defamation i hope yo this dude called it a can when it's actually a bottle no because it's a different drink i think yeah each one of mm -hmm. those well what does it matter if one of them has forever chemicals i'm not that's just what we he's didn't saying. i didn't see what he said but it sounds like he was mixing the two drinks i guess i just don't see that being an issue even if i mean okay whatever i don't you know the messenger. I was just bringing the messenger. Hey, don't worry, bro. I'm not going to shoot you. But Prime is considering suing you for the millions of dollars of damage you caused to make you file for bankruptcy a second time. Buddy, you don't know a single thing about what you're claiming, but if I ever want to overdose on self-tanner or get my back cracked, I'm coming straight to you. So look, send the video, share the video. Mom, send it out because we don't want our kids being influenced by an Instagram chiropractor who stole $1.4 million from his own children. <laughs> okay, this man went did ops. He went to like a private detective and was like, give me the dirt on this dipshit. And boy, was there dirt. What a douche. Who's yeah. this chiropractor? I want to go look at his TikTok. Uh, I sent his Instagram. Let me find his TikTok. What a douchebag, dude. These quack. This is the problem with TikTok. This is the shit that you see on TikTok is these quack, these mm. talentless <laughs> hacks. And they're just, they spread this insane misinformation. Yep. It's making the world 
into total nonsense. I despise TikTok, and I can't wait for the, for uh, the boot of the government to stomp on its face for eternity. That's right. Everyone's saying it's PFAs are not plastics, by the way, some other chemical shit. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, what it is. Dr. Daniel Pomp. Pumpa. Like, you shouldn't be able to call yourself a doctor. Like, straight up, or you're already doing some right. kind of, like, uh, false marketing. Especially when you're selling yourself. Look at his views. He gets a lot of views. I mean, this is this is nuts. I'm not a doctor. Or, well, some of them do. Here, this one has 2.2 yeah, million. Let's see. Jerry, what are the three worst things in natural toothpaste? You really oh, well, want here's to the, here, He's actually talking to a real doctor, so... That part is not interesting. Did you know cell phones give off radiation? No, they device- don't. They do <laughs> not fucking do that. They radiate heat because they have a battery in it, but they do not radiate any type of uh, energy waves that are anywhere close enough, strong enough to alter your DNA or damage your cells. There's a gajillion times more uh, harmful rays coming from space at every second. Than from your cell phone. This is one of the dumbest shit. I hate when people do this. Ice measures EMFs, which is a type of radiation. The further we get away from this device or cell phone, you can see that number plummeting are to you just, safe levels. You just, so the point is, most people put their cell phone right next to their bed. Worst thing you can do. That radiation. That is not you the saw, worst thing you can do. <laughs> Let's. You know what I mean? Like that's just. It's not. It's not. That's going right into your brain, disrupting your sleep. You could put it on airplane mode or move it far away from you. So it drops that radiation stress no matter what. Show me that. I I don't think airplane mode would change the the amount it radiates. He presents himself in like a good package. Yes. Where he like looks pretty professional and he has a doctor in the name. Yes. And I just hate that. That's that's the time we live in. That's all you need. Actually, I gotta tip. It. I gotta say what up to Logan for that because he really exposed the charlatan. Mm-hmm. Uh, forever, uh, let's see. Uh, cell phones emit radiation in the form of RF, which is a type of non-ionizing electromagnetic radiation. Non-ionizing. While cell phones do emit non-ionizing radiation, uh, there's also regulatory standards to ensure that these emissions are within safe limits. So, it's ridiculous. At this point, we all carry it with us all day. What does it Nobody's matter if walk- you put it next to you when you're sleeping or not? It doesn't. You're right. It doesn't. And again... This guy's posting on TikTok. You're telling me he's not holding his phone all day? <laughs> no. Yeah, he is. It's, you know, and like I said, from outer space, that's, there's way more harmful uh, uh, particles coming from outer space mm. all the time. You know, actual ionizing, like heavy-duty shit. Um, yeah. I'm actually into just dunking on this guy. 